guys, it's Melanie and today I have a dupe video to share with you and I don't do a lot of dupe type videos because for me honestly that term is thrown around rather frequently and loosely these days. For me personally, in order for a product to qualify as a dupe to the original of whatever I'm comparing it to, it needs to do pretty much the same thing and it really has to give you the same results. So my standard is pretty high for dupes um, and so I just don't find a lot of them. I would honestly, for me, if I really like a product and it's kind of expensive, I'm willing to purchase it um, unless I can find a less expensive alternative. So for me, I'd rather pay good money for a product that I know that works really well for me um, instead of buying something that doesn't work as well, but maybe it's like half the price, but it only gives me about half the results, you know? So for me, I'd really rather have the original in a lot of cases, but occasionally I do come across a dupe, and when I do, I like to share it with you guys. So I actually had a request, um, it must have been a couple months ago now, from a subscriber who wanted me to review the Derma E Essentials Microdermabrasion Scrub. And I believe in the original message that she sent me, she had heard that this was a dupe for the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment. You guys know that I love this and this is expensive. Now, turns out, after using this, <laughs> it's not a dupe for the Kate Somerville but it's a dupe for another really expensive product and I'll share that here in a second but first let me tell you why it's why this is not a dupe for the Kate Somerville. The Kate Somerville has some um, physical or manual exfoliation benefits to it but this also has different enzymes and um, ingredients in it that actually have a chemical exfoliation effect on your skin as well. So you're getting like a double whammy with this. Um, you're not going to get that with this. This is purely a, what I would call a manual exfoliant. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I do get really great results from the Kate Somerville and I've been saving this mostly for like special occasions. I need to just use it up and then repurchase it. Like that's the thing. I love this. I will always have this. Um, I need to not cling to it for special occasions because every day is a special occasion. I'm constantly preaching that. So this is a very different product. Um, how you use it is different from this. It's great. I love this. If you've never tried it, if you have a sample of it from Sephora, use it. I think you'll see what I'm talking about. It's, it's pretty magical on the skin. But this Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub for me is actually a dupe for the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Facial Scrub. And um, as soon as the first time that I used this, I knew exactly what this was like. And it's exactly like the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Scrub. I will, um, you can find the Dr. Brandt at Sephora. I'll link that down below. You can go check out some reviews of it. I used to get that scrub back in the day before I went cruelty free at Sephora. A lot of times they would have it as 100 point perks or when you ordered online, you could put in a code to get a pretty decent sized sample of the scrub. And every time they had it available, I would always you know, use up my points on it or like put it in as like the code to get with my online order because I really enjoyed it. It was a great manual physical exfoliant and I really enjoyed it. Um, however, since going cruelty free, that's not really an option for me anymore. So um, this has taken the place of that up until now because now I have this. This is in texture, in feel, in results, even in the looks of the product is extreme and smell. There's a slight difference with the smell, but a lot of the same smell. It's, it's so extremely similar and it is significantly less expensive. Now the Dr. Brandt pours no more. I want to say is somewhere in like the 75 to $80 price range. I can't even remember but it's for about, I think, two ounces worth of product. This is two ounces right here. This is obviously from Derma E. Derma E, you can find at Derm Store, Target. 
You can find it at Ulta. I actually got mine off of Vitacost, which is where I found the best deal for this. So um, I was looking up the different kind of price points. The range is pretty drastic. I paid $17.99 for this at Vitacost, which is awesome. You can get it for $27.99 at Ulta, but also Ulta also considers this like on the drugstore side. So oftentimes there is the buy one, get one. Um, like right now, for example, they're having a BOGO on the Derma E-Line. Uh, and then you can also use the Ulta coupons that you can use on the drugstore side of this store as well. So, and Ulta has the points. So for me, mm, I, I could go either way, either purchasing it off of Vitacost or off of Ulta because in the end it kind of pencils out about the same for me personally. But, um... You know, you, you can find this in lots of different places. What I like about the Derma E line is that they are soy free, they are gluten free, they are GMO free, they're obviously cruelty free, they use um, recyclable materials, and they utilize um, wind energy, which I'm all for alternative energy. Um, so I really, I just, I kind of like this brand overall, their whole philosophy. Um, I've tried a couple products from them that didn't work that great, but this one, this one's a rock star, you guys. So let me just kind of show you the texture. So the one thing that I don't like about this, the packaging is obviously very different. This is a glass jar. You need to be careful with this, especially if you're using it in the shower, which is where I use it. The Dr. Brandt obviously comes in a little plastic squeezy tube. That is great to keep in the shower because if you drop it, no big deal. You drop this in the shower, you definitely risk either cracking a tile or uh, your toe if you drop it on your toe. Um, and then also obviously breaking the jar. So packaging is not ideal. However, I have gotten past it because it's just such a great product. So this is the product right here. It is a thick paste and it's, it's very gritty. So what this product utilizes as its, for its microdermabrasion exfoliation type effect is um, sea salt and volcanic sand. So here's what I'm gonna say right off the bat. If you have sensitive skin, if you have delicate skin, if you have damaged skin, or you are actively breaking out do not use this scrub because it will in all likelihood irritate the hell out of your skin. Just skip it. Skip it. Those of you with those issues, maybe start with really gentle chemical exfoliants and let that do the work. I am someone who, for better or for worse, because I know there are people who are going to be like, God, don't use that. Um, I like physical exfoliants. I use my Clarisonic. Um, I use stuff like this. But I also like my chemical exfoliants. You guys know that I put AHAs and BHAs on my skin and I love it. I love the effects. It works great for me. But just know your skin and know what your skin can handle before you go in with a product like this. Because it is abrasive. It does work to exfoliate any dead skin cells that you might have clinging onto your skin. They'll be gone because this is this is not a super gentle product. Now, I'm not scrubbing at my skin. I'm very lightly rubbing this into my skin in circular upward motions, and it works great. You don't have to be aggressive with it. You can be very gentle, and you see amazing results. When I get out of the shower after using this, my skin is so soft. It feels like a baby's butt. It feels absolutely amazing. I love this. Um, this, even in its smell, let's go back to the smell. So the Dr. Brandt Pores No More has always had kind of this like lemon, almost pledge-like scent to it. This also has a lemony scent to it, but it also has a slightly almond cream type scent to it as well. It's very interesting. It's definitely not just lemon. It's like lemon mixed with like an almond amaretto extract cream type of scent. Very strange. This does have lemon peel oil, orange oil, as well as tangerine oil in it. So that's where you're getting that citrus scent from. Um, those oils don't irritate my skin. I always try to say in each video that I do that my skin's very tough. Um, it can take a lot. <laughs> 
It never seems to get irritated by very much. There's a few products here and there that will cause me to break out. This did not make me break out. I found it to be gentle enough on my skin as long as I wasn't crazy abrasive with it and it gave me really great results. In fact, it gave me the same results that I used to get from the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. So if you are buying that and spending like 80 bucks a pop <laughs> and you're looking for an alternative, try this one. Like I said, you can get it somewhere in the 20 to $30 price range. It's really worth seeking out if you are looking for a dupe for Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I would highly recommend it. Um, you know, and if you get it at, um, like Ulta, if you don't like it, you can always obviously return it. But I do think it's worth trying out if the pores no more is a go-to for you. So there you have it. There's my dupe. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you have happened to have used this yourself and what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear other people's thoughts on the product. And again, I know there are people out there who are completely against physical ex or manual exfoliants of any kind and I totally get it. It's a personal preference thing for me. I happen to really like them. If you don't, just don't use this product. So um, if you've used it, let me know what your thoughts are and um, yeah, good luck with this. If, if you are looking for a replacement, I think this is the place where I would send you. So. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.